holidays are about sharing with others. So we invite you to take plenty of photographs to share the memories with family and friends. Please refrain from using flash photography or any light source on your camera, as this will startle the Who's. And now, Universal Orlando asks that you open your heart and enjoy the Grinchmas Hula Day Spectacular. Inside a snowflake, like the one on your sleeve, there happened a story you must seek to believe. Way up in the mountains in the high range of pontoons, lay in a small town of Hoopville, the home of the Hoos. The Arbor Day was fine, and Easter was pleasant, and every such business day they ate a fish pheasant. But every who knew, from their twelve toes to their snout, they loved Christmas the most without a single who doubt. Ask any who, and they'll have this to say. Nicholas soon will be here. Merry Christmas! Not, Not yet. yet. <laughs> okay. All right, everyone. Christmas Day is almost here. <laughs> oh my! Would you say this tree is up to our festive standards? We need Martha. <laughs> Where's Martha? a passion for all things holiday. Leading the decorating committee was the lovely Martha May. Oh, did someone call me? <laughs> Hit me with a hot note, who mail? <laughs> You'll get yours. 
Yes, every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot, but... The Grinch, who lives just north of Whoville, does not. Oh, the noise, 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 noise! Curse that Christmas music! It's joyful and triumphant. The Grinch hates Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be that his head isn't screwed on quite right. It could be, perhaps, that his shoes are too tight. Ow. But I think that the most likely reason of all may just be that his heart is two sizes too small. Bahubam! said the Grinch, staring down from his cave with a sour Grinchy frown at the warm lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every who down in Whoville beneath was Busy now, hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings! He snarled with a sneer. <gasps> Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here! He growled with his green, grinchy fingers, nervously drumming. I must find some way to keep Christmas from coming. But how? The presents! The presents! The presents! I mustn't forget the presents, Cindy Lou! Cindy Lou! Cindy Lou, where are you? Doesn't it seem a bit much? Oh, Cindy Lou, you have been practicing your Christmas wrapping. I am so proud of you. Oh, Cindy Lou, we can't talk now. There is so much to do. I gotta pick up the little hash. Oh, and I gotta get some roast beast.
Seems worse. <laughs> Maybe we could skip ahead. Uh, but, but if if Santa could do it, I mean, so could the Grinch. He did it. Santa could do it, and so could the Grinch. <laughs> then he slithered and slunked with a smile most unpleasant. That I can do. <laughs> around the whole room, and he took every present 
He took the same gingles, stringlers, and puzzles. He took your pantoublers, dazzlers, and wuzzles. He cleaned out that ice box as quick as a flash. But the Grinch even took the last can of blue hash. Why is it all the mantle? He stuffed all the presents up the chimney with glee. Oh no. Grinned the Grinch. I will shout the tree. So the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shout. But he heard a small sound like the coo <laughs> of a dove. And he turned around fast and saw a small who. Little Cindy Lou who. Word. <laughs> now you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick. He thought of a lie and he thought it up quick. <sighs> Why my sweet little toe? <laughs> mm -hmm. The fake Santa Claus lie. You're not helping. <laughs> There's a light on this tree. <laughs> it will not a one shine. Shall I'm thinking it hook hook home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there, and I'll bring it back here. Me. I'm rhyming again. <laughs> Santa Claus? What? Don't forget about the Grinch. Grinch? I know he hates Christmas, and he's green with bad breath, mm. and smelly feet with shoes that are two sizes too small. Ow. But just because he's different, well, Get a present on Christmas. Good night. Good night. Cute kid. Bird, judge a character. <laughs> You're a proud one, Mr. Grinch. You got termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick for the job. Given the toys between the two of you, I take the <laughs> the seasick crocodile. <laughs> it was upon the past dawn. All the who's still a bed, all the who's still a snooze. We backed up the sled, backed it up with their presents, the Ribbons, the wrappings, the tags, and the tinsel, the trimmings, the trappings. 3,000 feet up, up the top of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. <laughs> boo, boo, da, hoo. He was graciously humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up, and I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open for a minute or two, and then all the who's down in Whoville will all cry, Boo Who! <laughs> and that's the noise. Grinch the Grinch. That I simply must hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put a hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in lump, then it started to grow. But that sound wasn't sad, why that sound sounded merry. But it couldn't be so, but it was merry. Very. Down in Whoville, the tall and the small were singing without any presents at all. But he hadn't stopped Christmas from coming, it came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet, eyes cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. Who could it be so? It came out ribbons, it came out tags, it came out packages, boxes, or bags. He puzzled and puzzled until his puzzler was sore. Ow. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before.
before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a stone. Maybe Christmas past means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. Uh, 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 Marge! And now that his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light. He still had the presents, the food for the feast, the ribbon, the tinsel, or even the roast beast. But with a smile in his soul, he descended Mount Crumpet, cheerfully blowing who sounds on his trumpet. It's true. Because of this child's thanks, I bring them all back to you. I'm rhyming again. And I like it. Your hand! It's so. I know, Harry. No. Crazy, or no matter what, or Nancy. <laughs> Welcome Christmas! Bring your cheer! Kate Walton's father and me. Christmas stays in our dress, as long as we have hands to clasp. Christmas Day will always be just as long as we have we. Welcome Christmas while we stand, heart to heart and hand in hand. Hey, Kate!